Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Properties panel. So the Properties panel is different based on which tool you select. So you can see up here, I'm selecting from the different wet and dry media. And then down here inside of Pencil, this is our Properties panel for the Pencil. Now the Pencil is going to have different settings over here than the Watercolor Brush. All of these have the option for line smoothing. So here we can decide what is shown inside of the properties panel. So if we don't want pressure to be shown, by default it's not shown, we can go here and we can uncheck or check that. Use preset volumes. What this means, and this was interesting to learn and I actually really like this feature quite a bit. The volumes are what's listed right below. So size, loading, oiliness, or here, pressure, those volumes can be saved directly to this preset down here. So if you look down here, this is the brush panel. This is our properties panel, and this is our tools panel. This specific preset is called flat wet. Flat wet has the settings of size, loading, and oiliness of 50, 170. So here if we switch to rough dry and rough wet, you can see that each of these change. Now if I want flat wet to have a loading of 45, then this save volumes into the brush preset means that the next time I switch back here, it's going to have 45 for the loading volume. Now, if I don't want it to retain that information, I can click here, save volume and click on don't save volumes. So that means that the next time I go here as 41, and then I come back here, you'll notice that loading has not retained that setting of 41. It went right back to what it was set to as its default state. So here, let's choose save volumes and paint mode into brush preset. Let's say all the time I want flat wet to be a blending only brush. Let's choose rough and oily. We're gonna do save volumes and paint mode in brush presets. Now let's go rough and oily and let's lay down some more color here. I want flat wet to be just my blending brush. Now I can have it set up so it is always going to say at size 78 and is always going to blend and only blend. And my rough and oily is always going to be set to paint and blend number three. If I don't want it to retain the settings I just made, then what I can do is I can click on this little icon right here, reset brush changes. So clicking on that is going to return back to its default state, flat wet. Let's click on reset brush changes. That's going to go back to its default state. Now we can adjust these things again. And now let's say we want, if we really the changes we made and we want those to stay there all the time, we can change these to the new default. So save changes as default. If I click on that, then anytime I click on this reset brush changes, it's going to go back to our new default state. Now the brushes panel, you can drag brushes in between the different sections, the different groupings. You can collapse the menus. You can create a new menu by add group. And let's say we have a, a preset here to be inside of pencils. We can copy this preset. We can go back over to my brushes and paste that. And just like that, we can have the characteristics of the 2B pencil applied to the oil brush. Now, if you want to share those settings, and you like what you've created, you can go right down here and click on share brushes and then share these with the community. If you want to open up the brush creator, you can choose this icon right here, show brush creator. Here you can see the dirty brush icon and you can find out more about that in another one of our tutorials. Right here, use preset volumes. This is where you can decide which things are saved to that brush preset when you choose the setting over here save volumes. So volumes will no longer include if we uncheck loading inside of use preset volumes. 
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, put it in the comment section and stay tuned for the next tutorial.